I've been collecting junk for quite a while. I've got a little bit of everything here. Quite a few vehicles, a lot of refrigerators, stoves, uh, used appliances, some scrap metal, stuff I've collected uh, over the years. What's up everybody, I'm Matt Paxton from Hoarders. We're doing kind of a behind the scenes, uh, kind of a walk down memory lane, and we're talking about my very first episode ever, Paul. So we did about nine cars over here. How many you think are on the whole lot? He was a car hoarder. We had hundreds of cars, man, hundreds of cars. Uh, there's probably 60 or 70 left. Okay, so we got some work to do. Yeah. Uh, I had never done TV before. In fact, I didn't even have a, uh, a T-shirt that had my logo on it. All right, so we're getting into here now. There's Clearly, you have no limits on appliances. We've got quite a bit. Yeah, there's quite a bit of them. Um, Is there value in those? They called me on a Wednesday, and they said, can you be in Alabama tomorrow? The problem here is it's not last year. This is this year, and Wednesday is Wednesday. And I literally flew, flew down to Mobile, Alabama. I didn't have enough money to get there and get back. The network had to loan me. One of the camera guys had to loan me a couple hundred bucks to get back. Uh, it was the first season of Hoarders. We hadn't figured anything out yet. Pace yourself today. That's very important. You got to pace it. I mean, we're all wheezing already. We got one load. We probably got to do four more loads of this today. But we got to pace ourselves. And uh, Paul was my favorite first order, man. He was awesome. We also have uh, kind of subpar equipment you'll see behind me. It may or may not work. He had a school bus. He had uh, hundreds of cars back there. Tell me about the school bus. Man, it was just massive accumulation of cars. And he saw the value in each one. And he, he knew he was really intelligent, like most orders. He was brilliant, actually. And he knew the value of each car of us at a certain time. But later in life, the, the values weren't there as much. It was funny, I asked him when was the last time. I was trying to get him to move the bus. This didn't make the TV show. I said, hey man, I want to move the bus. Bus needs to move today. We've got a big backloader here. We're going to try to push him to get that thing moved. So said, when's the last time you drove the bus? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, it's been a few years. And he yells, he said, Junior, to his son. He goes, how, how old are you? And Junior said, I'm 28. And he goes, well, it's been 29 years since I've moved this bus. He goes, last time I was in this bus, Junior was conceived. And it was one of the funniest things I ever saw. So the last time Paul had been in that bus was the year, nine months before his son was born. Oh! You're done, brother. Car. <laughs> You're done. That's good. Thanks, Lance. Old Paul, man, I hope you're doing well, buddy. I miss you. It was a, it's a, it was a heck of a hoard. He had some really cool cars. Um, everything in moderation, you guys. If you're watching, it's okay to have some cool cars, but they can't all be saved. Unbelievable, my man. That's how you move a bus. <laughs> well, it was better if you had a motor running. It's awesome, brother. <laughs> Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders and subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.